It's tough to love. And there was probably no time tougher than the 50s and the 60s in the midst of the civil rights era. Black against white, white against black. Every person's pride and prejudice was arising to add to the turmoil. And nevertheless, Martin King knew the power that would bring justice to America. He knew that it was the power of creative and redemptive love. Now let us try to refresh our memory about the power of this love. There are three words for love in the Greek New Testament. One is the word eros. Eros is a sort of aesthetic, romantic love. Plato used to talk about it a great deal in his dialogues, the yearning of the soul for the realm of the divine. And there is and can always be something beautiful about eros, even in its expressions of romance. Some of the most beautiful love in all of the world been expressed this way. Then the Greek language talks about phileo, which is another word for love. And phileo is a kind of intimate love between personal friends. This is the kind of love that you have for those people that you get along with well and those that you like. On this level, you love because you are loved. the Greek language comes out with another word for love. It is a word agape. Agape is more than romantic love. It is more than friendship. Agape is understanding creative, redemptive goodwill for all men. Agape is an overflowing love which seeks nothing in return. Theologians would say that it is the love of God operating in the human heart. Yes. And so when you rise to love on this level, you love all men, not because you like them, not because their ways appeal to you, but you love every man because God loves him. That's it. This is what Jesus meant when he said, love your enemies. And I'm happy that he didn't say like your enemies because there are some people that I find it pretty difficult to like. Like is an affectionate emotion and I can't like anybody bombing my home. I can't like anybody who would exploit me. I can't like anybody who would trample over me with injustices. I can't like them. I can't like anybody who threatens to kill me day in and day out. Jesus reminds us that love is greater than life. Love is understanding, creative, redemptive goodwill for all men. I've seen too much hate to want to hate myself. Hate is too great a burden to bear.
now. We must be able to stand up before our most bitter opponents and say, we shall match your capacity to inflict suffering by our capacity to endure suffering. We will meet your physical force with soul force. Do to us what you will and we will still love you and so throw us in jail. We will still love you. Send your hooded perpetrators of violence into our communities at the midnight hour and drag us out on some wayside road and leave us half dead as you beat us and we will still love you. But be ye assured we will wear you down by our capacity to suffer. And we will so appeal to your heart and conscience that we will win you in the process. And our victory will be a double victory. Today I still have a dream. Men will rise up, come to see that they are made to live together as brothers. I still have a dream this morning that one day every colored person in the world will be judged on the basis of the content of his character rather than the color of his skin. And every man will respect the dignity and worth of human personality. And brotherhood will be more than a few words at the end of a prayer, but the first order of business on every legislative agenda. I still have a dream today. Justice will roll down like waters and righteousness like a mighty stream. I still have a dream today that one day war will come to an end, that men will beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. And nations will no longer rise up against nations, neither will they study war anymore. I still have a dream. Oh, happy day. Oh, happy day. 